Meghan Markle made an appearance on a children's YouTube story channel on Wednesday, during which she read her book The Bench from the Garden of her $14 million mansion. The £12.99 debut book by the Duchess of Sussex was inspired by a poem she wrote for Prince Harry's first Father's Day the month after Archie was born, exploring the special bond between father and son as seen through a mother's eyes. But despite its world-famous author, the bench is reported to have sold 3,212 copies in its first week in the UK when it released in June, behind books by Marcus Rashford and Richard Usman at the time, and is now outside the top 100 on Amazon. Meghan, 40, swept her hair into a slick bun and heaped on the jewellery for the, the video, in which she could be seen reclining on a seat in the garden of her mansion in Santa Barbara, California. The video was shared on the Brightly Storytime channel which is run by Penguin Random House, the publishing house which published The Bench and with which Prince Harry also has a book deal. Before she began reading, Meghan explained, Today I'm going to be read to you my book called The Bench with illustrator Christian Robinson, I asked him to do something special for me and use watercolors, which isn't the normal medium he works in but he did it to make it extra special. I wrote this as a poem for my husband and our son Archie, and then turned it into a book so you could enjoy it too. It is not known if Meghan has received an advance for the book and whether any of the proceeds will be donated to charity. Industry experts have suggested she could have commanded a £500,000 advance loan. Sitting on a comfy-looking chair in her garden at her $14.65 million Montecito mansion she shares with Prince Harry and their two children Archie, too, and Lilibet, the Duchess completed her look with a smattering of glamorous makeup. Wanting to stick to her low-key vibe, the mother of two kept her locks tied back away from her face when reading from her £12.99 $18.99, book, which is inspired by Prince Harry and her son Archie. And while the £12.99 title was the UK's best-selling picture book last week after being released on June 8, it did not perform so well on the wider chart, but experts said it could still make a fortune by being sold worldwide. Literary expert Tom Tyven told how the book's German-owned publishers Penguin Random House Children's have the rights to sell the English-language version globally and could also sell translation rights to other publishers. Mr. Tyven, managing editor of the bookseller magazine, told, add a little over 3,000 copies, 3,212 to be exact, sold the bench is obviously not a huge bestseller in week one, it didn't even make the top 50. But I don't think that's a disappointment for Penguin Random House Children's as picture books generally don't sell huge amounts starting out, even if the writer is the Duchess of Sussex. The aim is the long game as picture books tend to have a longer shelf life than adult titles. The idea is to keep them selling week in and week out and is not about a quick hit. Early reviews for Meghan's first foray into writing were not universally positive, although one could that the book's storytelling and illustration give us snapshots of shared moments that evoke a deep sense of warmth. Another described it as soothing, loving, although a little schmaltzy in places, while a third said it read as if it has been penned as a self-help manual for need parents rather than as a story to entertain small kids. A further review said, one wonders how any publisher could have thought fit to publish this grammar-defying set of badly rhyming cod homilies, let alone think any child anywhere would want to read it. But that's Planet Sussex for you, where even the business of raising a family is all about the brand. Before, in September, Meghan took to the stage at an outdoor reading event in New York to read her children's book The Bench to a group of second-grade students. An Archul statement said 2,000 copies sent to schools and libraries at no cost. However, the above moves have also resulted in some negative feedback from readers. Those poor children. Genuinely. They are already disadvantaged. So why not give them an age-appropriate book that would actually engage them and set them on a better journey? Instead, once more, she has used them as a PR opportunity and the adults around her have allowed this. Lamau she's still trying to get rid of her book almost no one bought. This book was a flop and that's just a fact. She thought people would buy it just because she is a duchess but not many people cared about it. Wow. What a big charity gift. A narcissistic gift. The book is selling for $3 places. No money just her book. She is only giving the books away because they aren't selling. It is a pure I am Meghan Duchess of Sussex PR exercise.